No spoilers, no problem. I really enjoyed it. It felt like a good continuation of the Ghostbusters legacy. It really felt like a nice bridge film from the standard lore that we have of Ghostbusters and opening up the world to a new generation, a new team. Felt like there were a lot of really great Easter eggs, both visually, in the story, and audibly as well. Also, I like that people such as Paul Rudd, though a big name, didn't steal the show. Or that kid from Stranger Things, can't remember his name, but he didn't steal the show. The previews make it feel like they're in it a lot more than they are, but they're really not. And it's in a good way, because the story's not centered on them. It's about the granddaughter, and it works really, really well. Also, there are some nice surprises for fans in it that I think will really appreciate it. And overall, it really felt like it was a nice homage to both the older Ghostbuster movies, but then again, really opening it up to continue the legacy. I think they did a good job on this. I would definitely say watch it if you can check it out in theaters. All the more fun just because theater experiences are great. And if you can smuggle in some Ecto Cooler, do it. Ghostbusters Afterlife was pretty much everything you wanted in a sequel to Ghostbusters. It was family friendly. It was a lot of fun. It expanded on the lore. It touched on things that may have been left unanswered. The humor was great. Uh, there were some good nerdy jokes. There were some good dad jokes. There was some good just all around humor fan humor. Ghostbusters Afterlife was a super fun movie. I recommend anybody any age can go see Ghostbusters Afterlife. It's a great family movie that the whole family will get a kick out of. Ghostbusters Afterlife was a ton of fun. It was a very, I gotta answer the phone. It was a good movie. There you go. I'll be right back.